Welcome to Man Machine Safeguarding, Volume 2. Volume 1 provided background on the need for machine guarding safety switches by first showing the types of machine hazards that exist, reviewing industry standards and guidelines aimed at protecting workers from those risks, and then providing an overview of concepts incorporated into safety switches to meet these requirements. This video will go into more depth on the types of safety switches available with hands-on demonstrations and graphics to aid in the understanding of how they function and how they can be installed to achieve a safer workplace. Before we begin, let's briefly review why machine guard safety systems are required. This is particularly important to understand if you haven't seen Volume 1 of this two-part video series. We all know that injury and equipment damage can occur during almost any kind of manufacturing process, especially during operations where there is crushing, shearing, cutting, pinching, and the potential for electrical shock. Movable machine guards are used to protect from these hazards. Three common types are used. Sliding, hinged, and liftoff. All three types can be opened or removed to allow the operator to clear jams, apply lubricants, make adjustments, or load and unload materials. This ease of access may present a hazard to workers while the guard is open and dictates that precautions be taken for protection. Recognizing these hazards, OSHA, ANSI, and other standards-making organizations have created specific guidelines for machine guarding safety systems. They require that workers be prevented from accessing a machine's hazardous areas until safe conditions exist. This can be achieved using machine guards which are tamper resistant and use interlocks designed to shut down the machine when the guard is opened. However, even if guards are tamper resistant and have an interlocked access, they still may not protect workers unless they function properly when needed. To ensure this, many guidelines recommend that the safety system be control-reliable. A safety system is control-reliable only if it's designed so that any single component failure doesn't prevent the machine from stopping and prevents it from restarting until the problem is corrected. Control-reliable safety systems can be achieved using the principles of risk assessment, components with positive brake contacts, positive mode mounting, tamper-resistant designs, redundancy, safety circuit monitoring for fault detection, and positive guided relays. If you aren't familiar with these terms, we encourage you to review Volume 1 of this series. However, if that isn't practical right now, you will be able to learn more about these concepts as we describe various types of machine guarding safety system components in this video. We'll familiarize you with two-piece keyed interlock switches, keyed interlock switches with solenoid latching, single-piece positive brake switches, emergency cable pull switches, safety edges, coded magnet sensors, and safety relay modules. Safety System Components The first series of products are called keyed interlock switches. These two-piece devices consist of a geometrically unique actuating key bolted or welded onto a movable guard and an associated switch mechanism mounted to the machine structure. One example is our AZ-16. Note that multiple key entries permit mounting flexibility. As you can see in this animation, when the actuating key is removed from the switch housing, it mechanically forces the contacts to open through a rigid drive mechanism. This is called positive brake design. Unlike conventional switches, which can weld or stick shut due to spring failure, positive brake interlock switches, such as the AZ-16, ensure circuit interruption when the guard is opened. The uniqueness of the actuator key in the AZ-16 and the geometrically matched actuating mechanism also make the switch tamper resistant, another desirable safety system feature. With the AZ-16ZI, a higher level of tamper resistance is achieved 
with an individually coded actuating key. This one-of-a-kind key and associated actuating mechanism, available in up to 15,000 different mechanical codes, functions much like the tumblers in a lock. Let's now move on to a higher level of worker protection. Perhaps you have a situation where immediately following machine shutoff, hazardous conditions still exist. For example, moving parts may need to come to a stop. Clamping points must be completely closed, or articulating robot arms must reach a safe home rest position. In such situations, you don't want the barrier guard opened unless safe conditions exist. This can be accomplished with a keyed interlock switch with solenoid latching. Here, the interlock switch actuator key cannot be removed from the switch mechanism until a mechanical locking device has been released by a solenoid. This solenoid release can come from a switch, a timer control, a motion detector, or other appropriate sensor, which is activated when the safe condition is attained. Several different types of key-operated solenoid-latched safety interlock switches are available from Schmerzall. One, the AZM-161, uses the same actuating mechanism previously described for our AZ-16 series. As noted earlier, this switch has multiple optional key entry points, enabling it to be mounted in a number of positions. Another is the robust AZM-415, designed to operate in harsh environments and with over 500 pounds of locking force. Options include special radial entry keys for hinged guards, units with two opposed keys for twin sliding guards, and pilot lights for visual status of the switch and solenoid. Schmerzall has also developed positive brake limit switches and other single-piece safety interlocks. These are often used where it is difficult to maintain movable guard alignment. One example is the miniature series 236 family of positive brake limit switches. Available with a variety of actuators, these IP67 rated corrosion resistant units feature slow or snap acting contacts rated at up to 4 amps. Another single piece interlock is the hinge switch, TESZ. Easily mounted to a hinged guard, this style interlock ensures that circuit interruption occurs before the guard is opened far enough for a worker to access the hazardous point of operation. Now let's move on to another rugged electromechanical safety switch device. Emergency cable pull switches, which are, of course, designed to allow operators to stop machinery in emergencies such as might occur on an assembly or material handling line. OSHA regulations require that these switches operate whether the cable is pulled or goes slack, such as a cable breaking. This push-pull operation is also demonstrated in the following animation. If you relieve the tension, as would occur if the cable broke, the contacts open. If you pull the cable, the contacts will also open. Another OSHA requirement is that they must be manually reset before the controlled equipment can be restarted. This switch features a push-button reset or an optional key reset for supervised restart after an emergency shutdown. Models are available for cable spans up to 330 feet with optional status lamps, choice of operating forces, and assorted contact configurations. Schmerzall has a broad line of emergency cable pull switches and related installation accessories for a variety of application requirements. The last category of electromechanical safety switches we will discuss is the safety edge type. This type of device can be used as a perimeter guard or as a safety interlock switch on moving objects such as roll-away doors, lift doors, loading bridges, vehicle doors, lifting tables, or maintenance stations. While working near such apparatus, a machine operator could trap both hands in a machine, preventing the person from reaching for a manual safety shutoff device. By mounting this type emergency shutoff switch at the operator interface or possible contact point, a struggling individual can apply pressure with any part of their body to stop the machine. A common switch used in the past for this type of application is called a ribbon switch. 
Designed as a normally open contact, it essentially consists of two planar conducting surfaces. Applied pressure closes the normally open contact, signaling the machine control to stop operation. However, should this normally open contact fail to close, the machine would continue to operate. Hence, this system design and operation does not fail to safe. This limitation is addressed by our positive brake safety edge. This unit consists of a continuous positive brake normally closed contact. Applying pressure at any angle along its length forces the normally closed contact to open, interrupting power and machine operation. Unlike normally open contact designs, this system will ensure interruption of power for machine shutdown. This dust-tight safety edge is available in lengths up to 20 feet, with various mounting arrangements and cable termination options. Coded Magnet Switches Though positive brake mechanical switches satisfy a large percentage of machine guarding applications, there are applications where space constraints and or environmental conditions preclude use of such devices. Such situations may be addressed using a sealed, submersible, coated magnet sensor as an interlock. These feature an array of reed switches, which will only operate in the presence of a magnetic field pattern matched to the reed switch orientation. Therefore, they cannot be defeated or bypassed by a simple magnet. Let's look at how this works. In this illustration, the unit features three magnets coded to match the reed switch array in the second half of the unit. This is not a positive brake design and therefore the possibilities of contact welding are not eliminated. The needed safety assurance is provided by combining the device with a safety relay module which detects faults to prevent machinery from operating if the guard is in an unsafe position or if the coded magnet switch fails. Safety relay modules increase the reliability of movable machine guard safety systems by continuously monitoring the integrity of the safety circuit. They are designed to detect and locate faults in the safety circuit and its interconnection wiring. Should a guard open or a safety circuit component fail, the module stops the machine until the fault has been corrected. Typical detectable faults include damaged machine guard interlock switches, misaligned machine guards, interconnection wiring faults such as open or short circuits, component failures in the safety relay module, and contact welds in the controlled motor contactor or relay. Such units satisfy OSHA and ANSI requirements for control reliability by ensuring that the failure of a single component within the safety circuit does not prevent stopping action from taking place and ensures that successive system cycles cannot occur until the failure has been corrected. In addition, units with diagnostic capability such as Schmerzold's AES series identify and help locate where the fault has occurred to minimize equipment downtime. This concludes our presentation. We've briefly covered some of the various safety interlock switches available for your applications. If you've seen Volume 1 of this series, you've been exposed to information on safety standards and guidelines and had an in-depth explanation of control reliability and machine guarding safety system design concepts. We encourage you to examine your machinery and manufacturing processes for hazards and to consider if and how you can use one or more of these tools to create a safer work environment. We'd be happy to schedule a product demonstration, send additional copies of this video, provide other available tutorial material, or arrange for an implant seminar by one of our product specialists. We encourage you to hold on to your Man Machine Safeguarding Handbook. It contains the answers to frequently asked questions as well as relevant information concerning machine guarding industry guidelines and standards. If you need further assistance in designing your system or in selecting suitable components, please contact us. We look forward to helping you create a safer, more productive workplace.